When a new car is launched, it typically falls into either the category of a performance vehicle or boasts an eye-catching design. However, it's true that there are cars that go beyond being just rugged. They combine robustness with powerful performance. The Chinese automotive industry is advancing at a remarkable pace, posing a challenge for other automakers to keep up. Emerging from this dynamic sector is the Cybertank 300, the latest off-road marvel crafted by the Chinese car manufacturer, Great Wall Motors. The GMW Tank 300 is meticulously designed for off-road enthusiasts, boasting not only impressive performance, but also incorporating cutting-edge technology and safety features, ensuring its capability to conquer diverse terrains. Traditionally, the Ford Bronco, Jeep Wrangler, Mercedes-Benz G-Class, and Toyota Land Cruiser have held the reputation as the best off-road SUVs. The Tank 300, however, introduces a surprising array of features and its exterior design draws attention with a striking resemblance to the Ford Bronco, particularly in its headlights. Notably, the Tank 300's headlights are oriented in the opposite direction to those of the Bronco, while the front grille, characterized by a diminutive size and several crossing bars, unveils subtle air intakes. The bonnet of the Tank 300, while not excessively long, features a sleek design accentuated by sharp lines. The front face's appearance varies depending on the trim level, and a robust plastic cover serves as crash protection. Wide, dark wheel arcs enhance flexibility when navigating mud and off-road terrains, complemented by the presence of traditional door handles. Being a full-size SUV, the Tank 300 provides a step for easy cabin access. It boasts a ground clearance of 22.4 centimeters, along with a front approach angle of 33 degrees and a rear angle of 34 degrees. Standard 18-inch alloy wheels contribute to its off-road prowess, and the option for larger tires is available. The rear features an extra tire mounted on the boot door, accessible through a single substantial door handle, revealing a spacious 400 lighter boot. For practicality, the second row seats can fold completely flat in a 60-40 split. The overall exterior design evokes a nostalgic feel reminiscent of the robust European off-road vehicles popular in the 80s and early 90s. The interior of the vehicle is characterized by a sleek and futuristic control center at the bottom. Despite its affordable price, the Tank 300 boasts a top-quality design that sets it apart from the Ford Bronco and Jeep Wrangler both of which share similar features within the cabin. Notably, the air vent fixed on the dashboard mirrors the pattern seen in the Mercedes-Benz G-Class, a touch of luxury not typically found in its price range. The three-spoke steering wheel features various buttons on each side, enhancing accessibility and functionality. The dashboard itself hosts two distinct 12.3-inch screens equipped with AM and FM radio, Bluetooth connectivity, smartphone mirroring, satellite navigation, and various other car-related functions. The first serves as a gauge cluster in front of the driver, offering road direction features, an unconventional approach compared to other cars that often incorporate this feature into a larger infotainment screen at the center. The rationale behind this design choice is to increase the driver's focus on a specific direction, providing both practicality and a unique interior layout. In the Tank 300's interior, the central touchscreen serves as a command hub for controlling various features. Positioned at the middle, it allows adjustment of heating, cooling, and massage functions for the seats. The touchscreen also facilitates access to maps, drive mode selection, and the 360 degrees camera, especially useful for reversing and off-road maneuvers. Multiple cameras are strategically mounted on the Tank 300, covering areas from the mirrors to the sides and the upper rear of the vehicle. Beneath the touchscreen, a set of round buttons manages the climate control, positioned between both air vents. Notably, a wireless phone charger adds a convenient touch. The center console features two drive mode knob selectors for sand, mud, and snow terrains. One of the most distinctive features is the futuristic transmission lever, reminiscent of spaceship controls seen in sci-fi movies. Below the touchscreen, you'll find dual cup holders and a concealed compartment ideal for storing small items and cash. Upon closer inspection of the dashboard, there's a group bar and a handlebar on the opposite side, adding both style and functionality. Across all trims of the vehicle, 
a nine speaker audio system is provided as standard. The ultra trim level, however, elevates the audio experience with an Infinity branded sound system. This premium audio setup includes silver drilled speaker covers, resembling the sophisticated speaker grills found in European vehicles like Benz's Burmester or BMW's Bang in Olufsen. Adding a touch of luxury to the sound system in the Tank 300 Ultra Trim. The five adjustable seats, designed to accommodate at least five individuals, boast Napa leather upholstery with fine stitches in the top variants, emphasizing both luxury and attention to detail. In the back seat, intended for three passengers, the middle seats feature two cup holders and an armrest, providing added comfort during extended journeys. Ample head and legroom ensure a comfortable experience, allowing passengers to stretch their legs with ease. For those who enjoy the ambience of natural light and fresh air, a sunroof can be easily opened with the push of a button, enhancing the overall comfort and atmosphere within the car. One notable aspect of the Tank 300 is its on-road performance, surpassing that of the Jeep Wrangler in terms of handling and smooth driving. As an off-road SUV, it operates as an all-wheel drive vehicle powered by a 2.0-liter turbocharged petrol engine, delivering an output of 224 horsepower and peak torque ranging from 380 to 387 newton meters. While it falls short of the Ford Bronco by 100 horsepower and lags behind the Jeep Wrangler by 60 horsepower, the Tank 300 boasts the capability to accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 9 seconds. However, with a top speed of 170 kilometers per hour, it is noted that the sprint speed may be considered relatively slow compared to expectations. The Tank 300 comes equipped with a comprehensive set of standard safety features, including seven airbags, adaptive cruise control, autonomous emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, rear cross traffic assist, surround view camera, and traffic sign recognition. Additionally, it incorporates six parking sensors at the front and rear, along with front cross traffic assist and highway assist. In terms of safety ratings, the Australian Car Testing Authority ANCAP Security, Australasian New Vehicle Assessment Program, awarded the Tank 300 with the highest rating of five stars. The vehicle achieved a score of 88% for adult occupant protection, 89% for child occupant protection, 81% for vulnerable road user protection, and 85% for safety assist systems, reinforcing its commitment to ensuring a high level of safety for occupants and others on the road. The GMW Tank 300 is offered in four distinct trims. The Tank 300 Lux, priced at $46,990. The second model, 300 Ultra, priced at $50,990. The Lux Hybrid trim is available for $55,990, while the Ultra Hybrid stands as the top variant with a price tag of $60,990. The Great Wall Motors Tank 300 currently stands as an outlier, but its uniqueness is set to be short-lived. Gita Lynn has plans to introduce a Tank 500, comparable in size to the Ford Everest, and potentially even a Tank 700, aiming to rival the Land Cruiser in Australia within the next year or two. This will position the Tank 300 at the lower end of the family concerning numerical size, performance, and price. Does the Great Wall Motors Tank 300 truly stand a chance against the Jeep Wrangler, Toyota Land Cruiser, Mercedes-Benz G-Class, or the Ford Everest? Share your opinion with everyone in the comments section below.